Okay, now let's look at this question. Yeah, right. An object of mass 2 kg moves along the x-axis and is acted on by a force F. The figure shows how force F varies with distance traveled the S. So this is a force displacement graph, yeah? Now, uh, the speed of the object. Alright. Okay, the speed of the object at zero displacement. Excuse me. At zero position zero or zero displacement is 10 meter per second. Uh, the speed at the zero displacement is 10 meter per second. Determine the speed of the object at 10 meter displacement and also the kinetic energy of the object at 6 meter displacement. Okay. Uh, so these, okay, first of all, if you look at this question, uh, uh, this is a uh, what kind of graph? First of all, we need to identify what kind of graph is this? This is a force displacement graph ah this is a force displacement graph so what do you think about the area under the graph uh, what is mean by the area under the graph area under the force displacement graph uh, above the axis is positive work done below the a the area below the axis the uh, the area above the axis is positive work done area below the axis is negative work done so uh, one concept you use to do this question is the work done is the area under area under force displacement uh, graph uh, <laughs> okay and the first thing you learn uh, first thing first concept you will use is the work done is the area under force displacement graph this is a force displacement graph uh, if force time graph is impulse huh? if force time graph the area is impulse if force displacement, the area is work done. So this one is a this one is a positive work done, and this one is a negative work done. Remember that, ah, huh? uh, remember that. And then another thing you will use is uh, to find the speed. Um, this one, another thing you will use is the work energy theorem. Yeah, work energy theorem. Ah, this one you will use this work energy theorem. Yeah, maybe highlight it. Work energy theorem. Ah, eh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Work energy theorem. Make it. Uh, ah, we will use this work energy theorem, which is the net work done result in the change of kinetic energy. How to relate the work done to the kinetic energy? It is the work energy theorem because we are focusing on the area under the graph. The area under the graph is the work done, isn't it? So from the work done, we can find the change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy, we can relate to the speed. Because uh, half mv square, half mv square, we can get a speed. Uh, okay, uh, that, so there are two concepts we're going to use for this question. Yeah. So first of all, uh, now look at here. He says speed at zero, uh, displacement zero is ten meter per second. Uh, maybe I should a bit here. Yeah. Okay. So ah uh, uh, uh wait wait uh display this just put a displacement over here. Ah uh, okay. So now, look at here. He says speed of the object at z s equal to 0, s equal to 0 is 10 meter per second. So that means, I want to write something here. At over here, uh, at over here, the, the velocity over here is 10 meter per second. Uh, at this point, velocity is 10 meter per second. And then find the speed of the object at 10 meter. That means I need to find the speed at this point. Uh, I need to find the speed at this point. So we say this is the u lah, the initial velocity u. Uh, the initial velocity u over here, s equal to zero, is ten meter per second. So what is the velocity at this point? S equal to ten, ten meter. So what is the velocity at over, over here? So uh, when at s equal to ten meter, that means uh, the the object has undergone this amount of work done, the area under the graph, uh, which is the network done. Okay, so this network done will bring the change in kinetic energy, change in kinetic energy of the object. Uh, so, uh, the initial velocity is 10, and then the final velocity is what we want to find from the change of kinetic energy. Okay, let's find out. Yeah, uh, let's find out. Uh, use the work energy theorem. Uh, you say for s equal to 10 meter, s equal to 10 meter, that means over here. 
So that means the work done, the work done covered is from 0 to 10 meter. 0 to 10 meter, which is all the area. All the area. Yeah? Okay, so uh, what you have to do, find how to find the work done. Use the area under the graph. Okay? So we have a trapezium here and also another trapezium here. So this is a positive work done, this is a negative work done. So we have to do, we have to find all the area. So the network done is the area under the graph. Yeah? So let's find out. Area under the graph. So the big area is this one. So, okay, half. Okay, the area under the graph is half times, find the trapezium. Okay, first of all, let, let's take the, uh, you know, the height is 10 meter. Uh, no, 10 newton. Okay, multiply by uh, the, the, you know, the length of each side. So this is 4. Okay, I uh, just label it as, uh, this is, uh, this is, this is four, and the, you know this length is um, this length is four. Sorry, this length is four, and this length is six, isn't it? So this is uh, this is uh, four plus six. All right, I'm just tired. That's why yeah, I shut a little bit. Uh, four plus six, and then uh, plus okay, another trapezium below here, another trapezium below here. Uh, you know why this area become negative work done? You know why it become negative work done? Because this one is negative 5. Uh, you see here, there is a negative sign. Uh, this negative sign, uh, you need to put... Uh, don't, don't throw away the negative here. Uh. Preserve the negative here. This negative is what makes the work done here become negative. Yeah, this negative here is what makes the area under the area of the graph uh, under the axis uh, become uh, negative. Okay, so let's, uh, first of all, this is the height, negative 5. So preserve the negative, uh, preserve the negative, just like you preserve the artifact. Uh, okay, so uh, negative 5. And then what's the length? What's the length of it? Uh, what's the length? Uh? This one is uh, 6 to 10. 6 to 10 is uh, 4, lo. 6 to 10 is 4, 4 meter. Lo. And then from 7 to 10, eh? From 7 to 10 is 3 meter la. It's 3 meter. Okay, okay. So it is uh, 4 plus 3. Ah, so it's 4 plus 3. Okay. It is 4 plus 3. And then, ah, this is the area under the graph which is the work done which is causing the change in kinetic energy. So change in kinetic energy is uh, we are using the final minus initial. Uh, this is the final kind of... This change of kinetic energy is a final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So, which is, uh, you know, half mv square minus the half mu square. You understand? Ah, half mv square minus a half mu square. So, actually, we can, you know, we can uh, factorize the common here. You see, there are common terms over here. Uh, half m over here and half m over here. We can factorize this out. Why not? You understand? We can factorize it out becomes what becomes half m and then v square minus u square you understand ah factorize it out so we write one time only la, the half m yeah so what is the mass 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 two kilogram uh, the mass is two kilogram just put two kilogram two kilogram what's the final speed that's what we want to find minus at initial velocity is 10 uh, initial velocity is 10 meter per second. So it's 10 square. Okay, I got everything. If I look again, these all are common terms, isn't it? Over here, uh, never mind. Uh, this one can cancel with this one. All right, and uh, let's calculate the left-hand side first. Let's calculate the left-hand side. Okay. Okay, now I got, uh, I got the velocity is what? I got the velocity, final velocity is uh, 11.51. Remember, uh, here we have square. We have square. Uh, we have square over here. Yeah? Uh, we need to square root the answer. Uh. After we get the answer all, we need to square root the answer. And this is the answer after I square root. This is the answer after I square root. Uh, I very, I very careful one. Yeah, I do things very careful one. Uh, I try to minimize the mistakes. Not to say I got, I know mistake lah. Sometimes I make mistake also, but you know, I do everything, so I double check one. I try to double check lah, yeah? If I got anything wrong, you must tell me, ah. Uh. Okay, so uh, 11.51, 
uh, meter per second. Okay, that's correct. Ah, this is the velocity. This is the speed after, you know, after this work done, ups, ups and downs. Uh, so from 10, from at 10, it increased to 11.51. So the, the, the network done is uh, positive. Lah. The network done is positive. There's an increase in kinetic energy. Increase in the velocity from 10 to 11.51. Uh, yeah, you see from 10 to 11.51. So there's an increase in velocity. There's also increase in kinetic energy. Uh, from logical sense, you also can see this the positive work done area is bigger than the negative work done area. So the positive work done area is about the increase in kinetic energy, will cause the increase in kinetic energy. Okay? And the negative work done area is causing the decrease in kinetic energy. Uh, so the amount of increase in kinetic energy is more than the amount of decrease in kinetic energy. So the net, the net change of kinetic energy is the kinetic energy did increase from 10 to 11.51. I mean the velocity increased from 10 to 11.51. That means the kinetic energy also has increased by a certain amount. Okay, the kinetic energy has increased by a certain amount. Now, uh, let's look at, uh, this, is, this is the for. Uh, is it correct? Is it correct? I haven't yet answered. Uh, the speed of A is 11.51. Uh, 11.51, 11.51. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. That's very good. Very good. Uh, give a, uh, give a, give a clap lah. You know why not? Yeah, reward ourselves with a clap. Why not? Yeah, nobody reward us with a clap. We reward ourselves lah. Okay. Okay. So how about point B? Yeah, point the the question B. The question B. Let's do the question B. So how about the question B? So the kinetic energy of the object at displacement six meter. So now, uh, now is where is where? Uh, what is the kinetic energy of the object at displacement six meter? So six meter is over here. So it's at the earlier part. At the earlier part, it's over here. Ah, uh, over here. So what is the speed at this point? Just now is the velocity at the last point at s equal to ten. What's the velocity over here? Now I want to find the velocity at an earlier point, at 6 meter point. What's the velocity over here? So the area covered is just the, it's just this area. Now it's just this area. So we no longer look at the, the whole thing. We no longer take this, this area. Okay. Uh, we just take this area. All right. This area only. Ah, because we only want the from. 0 to 6 meter, 0 to 6 meter area. This is the area that causing the change in kinetic energy between 0 displacement and 6 meter displacement. Uh, so we want to find the final velocity at 6 meter here after this amount of area. Okay, so let's find out. So again, use back the work energy theorem and also work the, use the concept work, work is the area under the graph. Okay. So, okay, all the same thing, yeah, uh, continue again, yeah, uh, but this time we, we are smart already, yeah, we use a shortcut already, we already know, know, uh, final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy, we'll finally get this, yeah, so, uh, this, the area now is just this part lah, this part, so I just take this area lah, this amount, this over here, uh, this one, I just want the earlier part, I just put over here, copy paste, you see that? Uh, copy paste, but smart, okay? And then what is the mass? What is the mass again? It's 2 kilogram, isn't it? Uh, it's 2 kilogram, yes, 2 kilogram. So uh, the final velocity is what we want to find, and the initial is uh, stand. Okay, let's find the V now, shall we? Remember, there is a square, your V has a square, you need to square root your answer, yeah? You have to square root your answer. Uh, this one can be cut off, become, you know, 1. And this one is, uh, you know, uh, 5. Okay. Uh, all right. The rest use calculator. Yeah. Uh, I got the answer is, uh, velocity is uh, uh, 12 point, I uh, know, 12 point. 2, 5 meter per second. Wow. Is that correct? Is that correct? Uh, I want to hear another. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I did something wrong. This is the velocity, but the answer one kinetic energy. You see, sometimes I can be careless. Yeah. Uh, this is what I call arrogance. You know, arrogance brings to downfall. So don't ever, ever be arrogant. I set one example of arrogance and this is what happens. Yeah. So remember, check uh, what the question needs. Uh, now the questions ask about kinetic energy, not the speed anymore. Last time asked about the speed. Last time asked about the speed. Now it's asking about the kinetic energy. Uh, now it's asking about the kinetic energy. Find the kinetic energy at that point. So, however, but uh, I got this. I also can use just use a half mv square and can get the final kinetic energy already. Yeah. Uh, but never mind. Uh, let's do all over again. Okay. So this time is just uh, the simple one. The simpler one. This one actually. Yeah. The network done causing the change in kinetic energy. This time we just took take the final minus the initial kinetic. Uh, the final minus initial kinetic, yeah. So uh, so just now uh, okay uh, is again the same thing yeah from here. Alright, uh, and this is uh Ah, this is a final kinetic energy and then minus what is the initial kinetic energy? This is half times two. And this is uh half m mu square lah. This one use half mu square, right? Isn't it? Yeah, half mu square. This is a u. Okay, so let's calculate. Okay. Uh this is uh five again. Yeah. Uh okay, let's calculate and see. Ah, I got the answer already. The, the final kinetic energy is actually the final kinetic energy is actually one fifty joule. Okay, one fifty joule. Ah, uh, okay. So ah, uh, that's the answer lah. Huh? if you use the this one, yeah, you calculate, you you still get the same answer. So yeah, you use the half mv square. Yeah, and try and check and see. Yeah, zero point five multiply the mass. Mass is uh, how many kilogram? Two. Uh, um, uh, multiply by the twelve point two five square. Yes, you also get the same answer. One hundred and fifty joule. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. Okay. That one hundred and fifty joule. That's correct. Okay. So make be careful. Ah, huh? always check. Ah, huh? what the question wants. Ah, huh? is it one the speed or kinetic energy? Uh, don't be too arrogant like what i did just now okay okay see you in the next questions bye